My presentation was about uh, the duration of androgen deprivation therapy in high-risk prostate cancer. And uh, what we did, we did a phase 3 trial on 630 patients and we compared 36 months of androgen deprivation therapy to 18 months. This trial uh, will report the results with a median follow-up of 9.4 years and we didn't find a difference in overall survival between the two arms which were compared. Uh, we had other primary endpoints like quality of life. We used two validated tools from the ERTC group, ERTC 30 and PR25, and we find that the 18 months group of ADT had a better quality of life. Better. We found that uh, uh, 13 items and 6 scales had p-value less than 0.01, very significant p-value and we have found also that for hot flushes and enjoyable sex, two items with highly significant p-value, we had also mean scores difference over 10 points. And these data for quality of life are very long-term data. We have quality of life data over eight years for both groups. So we didn't find for disease survival, disease-specific survival, if we take into account uh, deaths due to prostate cancer. There is no difference. We find also for secondary endpoints, the only difference we found was for biochemical failure with the definition of PSNA plus 2. What we found is that uh, the, for the longer course of ADT, 36 months, we find a significant p-value over 18 months. But it didn't translate in uh, a better control of the tumor. We had 83 men with prostate cancer recurrence, 40 in ARM1 and 43 in ARM2. And the rate of metastasis, metast bone metastasis alone, or bone metastasis associated with other metastasis is really the same. So this difference in biochemical failure didn't translate in a better control of the tumor. We uh, had also the disease-free survival, taking in account biochemical failure, progression of cancer, prostate cancer, and death from any cause. And in disease-free survival, even if the two curves separates because of a better biochemical control in the 36 months group, the p-value was not significant. We did also univariate and multivariate Cox regression analysis, taking in account the duration of androgen deprivation therapy, age, a disease at entry, age, PSA score, <clears throat> PSA glycine score and stage, and also during follow-up biochemical failure. And the only two variables which had p-value, significant p-value, were age and glycine score. No other significant variable. And we are talking of, uh, uh, especially for biochemical failure. So in conclusion, we think that uh, we can safely reduce. We are talking of localized high-risk prostate cancer treated with radiotherapy and androgen deprivation therapy. We can reduce the duration safely, the duration of androgen deprivation therapy from 36 to 18 months. What we think is that probably 18 months of androgen deprivation is sufficient uh, it's like a threshold effect. You can pour more androgen blockade after you are not going to change the outcomes. And uh, you really have a better quality of life, for sure. Uh, and also you can reduce the side effects and the costs. So we think that uh, 18 months represent really a new standard of care for this population. Thank you. Well, if 18 months is no different from 36 months, would there be any sense in an exploratory trial to find out if maybe 15 months or even 12 months, where is the <coughs> lowest threshold that you mentioned? If 
there's no difference to 18 to 36, why not find the minimum time? There is a trial done by the URTC, they compare 6 to 36 months, and the trial was negative. 36 months was better than 6 months of ADT. So you are talking of doing a trial in between. It takes us 20 years from the concept of the trial. We started to recruit the patients 17 years ago. And now we have uh, data with uh, close to 10 years median follow-up. So if you want to repeat this trial, you are going to get the response maybe if you are lucky in 15 years. So, and uh, what we saw in, during this ASCO meeting is that there are probably other ways to, to have a better return on our work, like the study we are looking for this group of patients adding chemotherapy or adding abiraterone. I think this is the future for trials going this way. Not repeat the trial we did, it's just too long. And uh, you, I think that if really you, you downsize the duration of ADT for this group of patients, what we did 20 years ago, we had the idea to cut by, by half the duration. That's enormous for the patients, for the side effects. That's really enormous. And I don't think this trial will be repeated in the future. We are going to live with these results. And you mentioned the savings for costs, the improvement to quality of life. For sure. What we did, and this was not reported yesterday, but we, had, uh, we have a solid database about testosterone and the recovery in these patients. And uh, this will be part of the manuscript. And what we saw is that uh, there is a faster testosterone recovery in the 18 months group and for more patients too. So this could explain also the quality of life data.